Yeah, hello, Matthias and uh, Prosimus. Yeah, I want to test this, the latest flight model 2.07 in uh, 2.08 in uh, in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's a fairly um, flat runway on. Uh, uh, this is Arlanda. Can't use my normal airport because it's too much. Uh, Difference on the the tarmac, uh, the too much uh, height differences. So anyway, anyways, so this is basically what my pal friend told me. With 60 tons, and that is about what we are now, gross with 60 tons, you need about 30 to 35 percent breakout thrust. So let's try how much breakout out break uh, so actually we are moving with yeah with 20 with 20 percent and one so we move very easily should there should be you should be able to at least go to uh, 24 there should not be a problem with 24% N1. The, the plane should definitely not uh, move. And not with the... Set the value very... With 20... Why can't I set the more exact value? With 24% N1, the plane should simply not move. So I release and immediately start moving. And uh, that is not correct. Um, there, that is not correct. But anyway, uh, you should you should at need if you have with twenty. Uh, he said basically that with twenty nine percent N one, you can't get the plane moving. You can't get the plane moving. You need 30-30% and 1 to get the plane moving. Okay, so that, that's the first thing. This does not 100% work with Prusin Flight Model. Next thing we are going to test is idle taxing. So then we are going to go up to about 20, 20 knots. Uh, so you should never go over 40% N1, basically. So, when you taxi. So, anyway, we are now at 20, 24, 25. Uh, also, the ground steering. I have this uh, program, uh, FS rudder, that gives me... I, I will taxi it back to the to the start of the runway. Should also not have more than uh, than don't know why my frame rate got so low but all of a sudden my frame rate got very low. But you can see the, the tilde position and everything. So anyway if I turn right here about 50 no uh, knots that's Definitely okay. And uh, release nose gear. So now I can steer with my rudder pedals. And you can see that I pulled put full full rudder. You can see on the system display I put full rudder, but it only gives seven point five nose wheel. So this is exactly how it how it should be. So this makes the plane very easy to steer when you do a takeoff. No back and forth. So that is also correct now with the program at least. Um, anyway, uh, we will also test the next thing and that is five to seven knots uh, uh, Max nose will steer without skidding on dry asphalt. That means if I'm going to do a 180, uh, 
I need about 10 knots. So I so I need to start gentle and when the speed goes down a little I can increase the tiller handle if if you know what I mean. But as you can see I'm ta basically taxing with uh, with idle trust and the plane moves uh, moves very nicely very nicely. It feels like the the only thing that yeah feels very it feels very nice indeed um, so anyway here we have um, and he said also with 10 knots on this edge you should be able to put the plane on the runway and put uh, put the nose nose wheel center to the runway. It should be enough inertia in the in the plane. And now it's almost too little inertia. Anyway, I braked. Uh, so now now let's test uh, test uh, 180 degree turn. So I need about. Uh, 10 knots so now I have 10 knots even 11 knots I will go out to the side I did th this in the level D simulator so I know this uh, this works if you will so now we have 10 knots I'm gradually moving my tiller and now I have full tiller you can see the speed goes down and we can get 180 degree and we have four knots i even think it is little little too far fast shouldn't have four knots and the speed should not increase now i think with if we have have if we have five knots we should not get a whole 180 degrees. Uh, that is too little inertia. Uh, so the, the the plane actually increases in speed. But now if I put full tiller, I should not get 180 degrees. I should get a little more than 90. And I get a little more than 90. So this is this is perfect. Stop here somewhere. Yeah. It should have exactly. This is perfect. This is tested in in level D simulators. We we have that confirmed, and my pilot friend, the captain friend, uh, basically confirmed that. So. Basically, we have confirmed the 180 degrees on ground with 10 knots. We have confirmed 5 to 7 knots uh, max nose wheel steering, skid on asphalt. Uh, not really, I can, couldn't see if it skidded, but anyway, that's, that's fairly close. Uh, about um, taxi and idle trust, 60 tons, slows very, very little, yeah, no problem. Yeah, let's go to 70 tons and see what that gives us uh, with 70 tons. Let's take some extra. 71 tons, just to be sure. So now we have 71 tons. Now it should definitely not move with, uh, with 28% N1. And it doesn't see that. So, but if we go to 30, uh, it still moves a little too easy. A little too easy breakout force. Let's go to full tiller. Uh, and just to see. And the tiller moves. Uh, I've asked him to dampen the the 
Tiller, but he have not done that yet. But the Tiller should not move. This 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 fast should not be able to move the Tiller. It takes at least three seconds to move it to the end position. So. So. so if we go to 4% N1 and taxi down the runway. So you can feel that it, it more more power is needed to get the plane moving. Um, and yeah, so the taxi performance is pretty good. And I now have uh, 31 30 percent a little too fast so now i would tw 24 that's a fairly normal taxi speed no one is going under 25 on this airport i think so we can see that the the speed is reducing faster with now with the heavier plane you need to put put in some some uh, some throttle to get it to taxi correctly but this is this is fairly close it goes down so yeah ha i have to have some th some throttle in to to not slow the speed i don't know how much i need you can see it's a little sloper also or the other way around but if we have 27 percent n1 yeah the speed increases so that's a fairly good that's fairly good no it's not fairly good it's really good so that confirms also taxi with the ultra trust with 70 tons slows slows faster have to give you no slows faster That is strong. Have to give it a push. I copied that to that one. Have to give it a push with engines. That's the thing you have to do to, to make it rolling. But it should not... Uh, there's more inertia so it shouldn't stop faster, I think. Uh, anyway, so the only thing that at this moment doesn't work on... Uh, when, when it comes to ground steering, it's the breakaway thrust. Still, there is a little too little breakaway thrust needed when at 60 tons. Otherwise, perfect. Slow down to uh, 15 knots in this, uh, this uh, curve. And uh, no problem. Here, here the, the taxiway goes. Uh, up and you can see the speed decreases quite a lot oh so i give it a push very insensitive by the way the throttle so i think this is uh, this is it for taxing yeah uh something that i uh, need to sh need to show you also is if you remove hydraulics you should not be able to steer with tiller and if we check the program you can see i uh, anyway i am now pushing full tiller but nothing is happening so this is correct. Also another thing that is is working as it should. And if I put on an hydraulic pump, take one electric, till it should work again. And it does. The only thing I wonder I haven't uh, thought about that yet is if uh, why I can steer with the uh, rudder. Uh, I can still steer with the rudder, even though hydraulic pumps is off, but that's maybe a safe thing. have to ask my pilot friend about that. But otherwise, 
basically everything work. The only thing I have noticed is the the nose wheel. Uh, if I have to do like that, so if I put some throttle in and put full full nose wheel steering in. Uh, hydraulic pumps put full nose wheel steering in you can see that the nose wheel is not turning 78 degrees only like 7 degrees so this is a 3d model thing and you can see on the other way and I I'm using full tiller so I have the same travel of nose gear Uh, is that really 7 degrees nose wheel? Yeah, I don't know. But uh, the nose wheel should definitely move move more. You can see that it skids. Anyway, I think that's that's it. Um, all, in principle, all ground handling with the, the with the 737 is now correct. The only thing needed is this 3D model thing and uh, dampening with this program or dampening in 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 prosim so took two years but now now it's fixed uh, let's stop the recording